Painting a wooden facade with linseed oil paint is a treatment that protects the timber. The end result is a semi-matte finish. Before you begin, make sure that you have everything you need. Linseed oil paint in the colour of your choice. Raw linseed oil for diluting the paint. Balsam turpentine. An empty pot for mixing the paint in. Stick for stirring the paint. Suitable brushes. Sanding materials for rubbing down. Cloth for wiping the brushes and hands. Soap for washing the brushes and hands. Before you begin, we recommend that you first read the application instructions and tips included in our brochure and on our website. Estimated rate of distribution per coat on sawn timber is 10 to 15 square metres per litre of paint. The drying time of the paint is two to three days under normal drying conditions. The optimal temperature to apply the paint is between 15 and 25 degrees Celsius. Make sure there is good ventilation in the room you are painting in, especially for drying purposes. It is advisable to paint the boards separately before they are mounted into place in order to achieve a good coverage of the paint on all the boards. This can be done indoors if preferred. The easiest way to open a paint pot is to place a foot firmly on it and then remove the lid using a putty knife and mallet. An undamaged lid is easy to put on again and will tightly seal the contents. To prepare primer paint, make a mixture in the following way. Use the stick for mixing for measuring the quantities. In order to paint on untreated wood, you need approximately 35% linseed oil paint, 50% raw linseed oil, and 15% balsam turpentine. Stir the newly opened can so that the paint is thoroughly mixed and smooth. Wipe the stick with the brush to avoid any mess. Place the stick into the empty can and pour in the linseed oil paint up to the first line. Then pour the raw linseed oil up to the next line. And finally the balsam turpentine to the top line. Then thoroughly mix all the ingredients so the entire volume is homogeneous. Wipe off the stick used for mixing and label the can so that you know what it contains. It's useful to know what there is in the paint store so that you can easily find what you're looking for the next time you paint. In order to work most effectively, collect some of the boards together and place them on their sides and paint the edges. Avoid dipping the brush too deeply so that you get too much paint on it, as this can result in it being runny and difficult to achieve a smooth finish. We are using a flat pig bristle paintbrush of high quality that holds a lot of paint in order to be able to apply the paint evenly over the boards. Apply the paint with repeated strokes following the grain of the wood, so that the paint is well worked in and covers the entire surface evenly. Finish off with long, smoothing out brush strokes. Make sure that the ends of the boards are also treated. Place the brush in a jar of raw linseed oil so that it doesn't dry for the next painting application. It takes between two to three days for the paint to dry. Assemble the boards in place and rub them down so that the coarse surface is removed. Clean the brush from the bulk of the linseed oil by wiping it and then drying it on a piece of cloth. For the second coat, in the case of sawn timber, approximately 10 to 20% turpentine is added to the undiluted paint to make it easy to apply thinly and evenly. Stir the paint well so that it is thoroughly mixed. Work the paint into the timber thoroughly. To achieve a good end result, it is important that the paint is not too thin and that it is distributed evenly using long brush strokes.
If the paint is applied in different thicknesses, it will become apparent through the uneven sheen. Paint methodically, board for board. Place the brush in raw linseed oil until the next coat. Let the wall dry for two to three days under normal drying conditions. Before the final coat is applied, wipe most of the linseed oil from the brush and stir the paint. We have now built up the surface from the underlying wood which allows us to easily apply undiluted paint. Quite simply, the wood is saturated in linseed oil. The finished painted surface should have a high and even sheen. Make sure that the final coat is applied thoroughly over all the surface. Finish the application by evening out the paint using long brush strokes to achieve an even and good result. Wipe off the excess paint from the brush and dry it on a piece of cloth. It is important that you rinse the cloth in water before throwing it away to prevent spontaneous combustion. Wash the brushes in soap and water. It is a good investment to look after your brushes as a good brush is expensive. A second-hand well-maintained brush is also better to work with than one that is brand new. If you intend to continue painting in a few days using the same paint, it is not necessary to wash the brushes but just let them remain in raw linseed oil so the paint doesn't dry. The leftover paint is best kept by placing a piece of plastic directly over it before putting on the lid. This will then keep the paint fresh and without a skin forming for the next time you are ready to paint. Using linseed oil paint you get a beautiful result that is well suited to both modern and old architecture.